blessed morning to everyone. I am Sandy Chavez, one of the deacons in BCMI and the wife of Elder Vincent Chavez. Thank you for joining me today in our Everyday God Daily Devotion. In continuing with our new series, Jesus the Messiah, we now look at Matthew chapter 5 where we will learn about the Lord Jesus Christ's Sermon on the Mount. But let me just focus on the first Beatitudes. Let us read together Matthew chapter 5 verses 1 to 3. Now, when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them the Beatitudes. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. We read from Matthew 4 that there was a huge crowd that was following Jesus. One day, Jesus sits down on a hill to teach them and in an address that we now call the Sermon on the Mount. The Sermon on the Mount opens with the Beatitudes, or what I would like to call the attitudes. Please note that these are the attitudes and not do attitudes. Sinasabi dito kung magiging ano dapat ang mga anak ng Diyos o mga believers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nagbigay ang Panginoong Jesus ng walong pahayag na nagsisimula sa salitang pinagpala or blessed. This word affirms a state of blessing that already exists. Ibig sabihin, blessed na tayo. Each beatitude declares that the kingdom of God kung saan kabilang ang mga Christians or believers of the Lord Jesus na nakaka-experience ng suffering are actually blessed. Those who are blessed do not have to do anything to attain this blessing. Jesus simply declares that we have already been blessed. Sabi nga sa Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works that no one can boast. Kaya nga, ang Beatitudes ay, first of all, declarations of God's grace. They are not conditions of salvation or roadmaps para makapasok sa langit. So Jesus begins this most famous sermon by saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. This refers to spiritual bankruptcy. Ano po ba ang bankruptcy? Bankruptcy is the state of being completely lacking in a particular value or quality. In other words, walang kakayahan na magbayad ng utang. Ang sabi nga sa verse 3, sa magandang balita na translation, pinagpala ang mga taong walang inaasahan kundi ang Diyos, sapagkat kabilang sila sa kaharian ng langit. Kaya nga ang mga taong nauunawaan at tinatanggap na sila ay spiritually bankrupt, ay blessed o pinagpala. Sa totoo lang, lahat ng tao ay spiritually bankrupt. According to Paul in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And in verse 10, There is no one righteous, not even one. All of us fall short of God's perfect holiness. But now, Jesus declares that those who acknowledge our spiritual bankruptcy before the Lord Jesus are blessed at kabilang sa kaharian niya. Kaibigan, nais mo bang makabilang sa kaharian ng langit? Namapit ka lamang sa Panginoong Yesus. Humingi ka ng tawad sa lahat ng iyong mga kasalanan. Aminin na ikaw ay walang kakayanan na iligtas sa mga masalim. At manampalataya sa tanging na tanging ang Panginoong Yesus lamang ang makapagbibigay ng kaligtasan at buhay ng mga Spend some time today and surrender your life to Jesus. Be blessed.